My God, Amanda, you played your debut live gig in front of a pretty huge audience today. How did it go? It was, you know what, it was it was awesome. It was awesome, if we're going to go Jedward speak. It was amazing because, like, for my first gig to be performing on the Vodafone stage, which is extremely... Nice prestigious. name drop. Yeah, well, you know what, <laughs> I'm not being paid by uh, Vodafone to, to name drop, but it was it's a massive stage. Like, it's the second biggest stage here at Oxygen at one of the biggest music festivals in Europe, so we're just like... And how, how the hell did you get the gig? You know what? It took me, I've been in this industry, in around the entertainment industry for 20 years or so. So uh, the, I suppose there's been an awful lot of groundwork to the actual phone call that yeah. actually made it all happen. So uh, you know what, it's nothing, just to put it out there. Uh, what phone call was that, Amanda? What do you mean, what phone call was that? Can we play Oxygen? Okay. It let's wasn't you phoning them then, no? It was, yeah. Oh. Okay, they didn't approach right. us. They definitely didn't <laughs> approach us. And it wasn't a case of, I don't know who started this rumour, but it wasn't a case of Jesse J pulled out, so Amanda J got in there instead. But um, no, we, you know, a lot of people have kind of been bitching and, you know, giving out that um, a band of Brunker is still, you know, a very valuable slot from like hardworking bands. But Gitano and, Gitano and this man here, Francesco, yeah, he's been gigging for a long time and he's been releasing singles and he's just had a number one in the Dance UK charts there a couple of weeks ago. So, you know what, I'm in very good company and they've been doing all the hard graft and legwork for me and I kind of have just come in at the end. And how do you know each other? Uh, we've known each other for years. ages ago. Through so common friends and, and I heard her once singing a long time ago and I, I always thought, wouldn't it be great to do something with Amanda, something like kind of dance music, housey trance, because she's got this lovely texture. And basically we just made a couple of weeks, just listen, let's do this, come on. Okay, Amanda, um, what would you say your influences are? Well, I, you know, considering I did a cover of U2's With or Without You, <laughs> I suppose you could throw them in there. Um, you know what, I'm, I'm just a fan of good music, you know, whether it be anything from classical to country to kind of dance to, you know, whatever. I, d I just love good music and I think, you know, I can appreciate all music. And today, what we were doing today, I suppose it's kind of the, kind of the younger kind of hip hop kind of, Vibe. You know, it's kind of dance trance, it's very kind of Ibiza, it's kind of, you know, it's very fun, it's very summer festival and I just think it's slotted in quite well here and I think people were kind of disappointed that I didn't fall on my face. So it's kind of like on, you know, the haters are now only just disappointed because they couldn't keep hating because, you know, it went really, really well. I told you. Yeah.